All right, hi everyone. Welcome to a game called Tidal Tribe. I was provided a key for free and immediately spent two, then four, then another two hours just having a blast playing this game. So I wanted to uh, make a video and show it because I think it's worth it. Um, I'm mostly going to be showing free game mode here. And uh, although um, story mode is really where the developer put most of the time, but man, I'm loving the free game mode. Um, I'm going to go with the blank seed and we're going to go size four with the terrain. Um, I'm going to uh, turn off the random here. I'm going to start out with zero lakes and uh, oh, OK, we'll start out with one lake somewhere at one lake per sector and uh, we'll set the uh, hills to uh, 0.1 which means there's not a lot of hills on the waves here um, it's actually not random but I'm going to uh, bump up the frequency to 0.8 so we have more waves which just makes it easier to show and then uh, the vegetation uh, seed start area factor parasites factor we don't have any any parasites and uh, the seed start area factor is going to be 0.5 Let's do 0.6 so stuff grows faster. Um, and there's all kind of options in here, okay? Erosion factor, the seep away factor. This is uh, this is how, how fast you lose water. This will all become obvious once I start it. And then for the visual, uh, I like the, um, oops, I like the uh, noon. And then I'm going to set the fog off because we don't like, who likes fog, right? So let's get started. So we're here on the beach. And uh, I'll run at first because running is faster and uh, WASD as usual and then you can hold jump uh, space for jumping Wee! and you can jump around there's a lake and uh, I want to get right in the middle of the beach now much like uh, old Minecraft which I haven't played for years but uh, Minecraft creative mode I'm going to double click space and then uh, I can sort of fly around here and so we have these villages here and we have water and so you know you go to the beach and you like to build sand castles we used to do this when the kids were young and the idea was is that you build a little sand castle close enough to the waves that uh you hope the waves don't overwash the sand castle but um then you also uh build a moat around it and hope that the wave comes up comes up enough to uh to build a moat and then keep the water around the castle. And then if you have a deluxe sandcastle kit with lots of different size shovels and little molds and everything to build uh, your little sandcastles with, then maybe you dig big old trenches to try to get a whole river and lake system going. And, uh, you know, you just get kind of carried away and you spend all day in the sand. And, hey, that's what going to the beach is all about, right? Well, that's basically the idea uh, of this game. And uh, just like at the real beach, uh, you have these people that set up too close to the water and they don't know the tide's coming in. They're going to get washed away. Uh, what are you going to do, right? But uh, anyway, so let me show you the uh, let me show you how the game works here. So you can see um, you can see the square waves when they come in. And uh, so I'm waiting for a wave here, and you can see that the two have hit over there. So far, none over here. So here comes one right here. So I have my uh, terraformer tool set and ready to go and I'm using the mouse wheel to select the different tools and as the water comes up here I am going to now build a hill all right right here to kind of trap the water in and uh, we're gonna build a hill here real quick and uh, I'm gonna put a hill over here real quick and so I've trapped some water okay and uh, then I want to say well you know that's kind of hideous but um, Maybe if I, I'm going to right click, right click goes down, left click goes up. I'm just using the terraformer tool right now, which is pretty rough. All right. And there's different tools. Like for instance, if I want to smooth it, um, I go over to the smoother and then a right click smooths down and left click smooths up. And uh, with the smoother, you just get a lot, you know, you, you get rid of a lot of this ugly blocking that happens with the terraformer, but we're not doing that. We're using the terraformer. Now you'll notice, uh, all of a sudden we have a lot of plants growing and the reason is is because um, these plants love the water now it's salt water so a little suspension of disbelief here because the, the whole idea just like when you build a sand castle right uh, it's it's you, you're trapping the water and you're trying to build paradise by um, 
getting the water trapped and then building rivers and lakes and everything to try to build up your your uh, your beach here into some place where these villagers like to live and the more that they like to live the, the more upgrades they do with their houses and the more upgrades they do with the houses the happier they are and you've got to provide different habitats now there's a whole wiki here and I'll hit escape and I'll go over to the wiki different plants um, like to live in different places so let's just click on the plants and fruits guide here and you will see for instance that uh, here's influence certain plants can only grow if they're surrounded by specific other plants or they might have trouble to grow next to a particular one the following chart shows this influence and and there's it's it's pretty it's pretty in depth here right but then if you just look at the particular plants and you just thumb through them here like coconut palm you see it, it'll grow pretty much anywhere except on the furthest away from the sea uh, the altitude is pretty much any altitude. Um, I mean, you see the green lines here, so it's not too tall, but um, it's pretty generous altitude. The uh, sunlight, um, it doesn't like to grow on hills, so it wants to grow in a flat area, um, and it's kind of showing that here. And then the water distance, if this, is the, if this is the water, it won't grow right next to the water, but it'll grow in this zone kind of away from the water. And this is a fruit tree, and it's got coconuts. Um, water consumption medium the height is high the type is the fruit and then you know you can thumb through all these here and see how they grow on the different slopes and such and then it becomes you know sort of like a puzzle if you like to uh, be able to grow everything so rather than uh, worrying myself with those little details I'm basically just uh, making rivers and lakes and seeing what grows so while I was doing that you can see a lot more stuff grew up and then what I'm going to do, because the, so here's a wave here, and it should come straight up. And so let me see if I can trap some more water here by digging down. And see, there comes the water there. And uh, I'm just going to try to trap it real quick in a little shape. And let's, let's, well, okay, I'm draining that lake accidentally. But uh, what are you going to do? Yes, I've drained that lake. Uh, so let's put a little ridge there, but not too much right and uh, I'm getting water to come in from here that's the whole idea is to get water in here all right and then uh, let's get some water over here too okay uh, and then we want to protect these guys so we can build up you know a berm here to protect them but uh, we already have some water here so let's build just a little lake right here that uh, maybe they'll like this little lake Maybe they won't, but, uh, you know, they'll like what I tell them to like. It's, uh, and these guys have names, too. I haven't really spent a lot of time with these villagers. Uh, Mustafa, Shalom, Zamanoff, and he's throwing a ball up in the air. Um, so we'll do a little lake right here, and but I want to protect these guys from the water. Um, and I can do it multiple ways. I can actually lift the houses up if I want. See, if you build the sand up, it lifts them up, and you can kind of mess with that. But um, let's just make sure they're on a high hill here, and that the water's not going to get to them, and that, that there's a little lake right here. I can actually lower this land a bit, but uh, we'll see. It's it's. I like I like where you grew. Now, you can see, as I've been doing this, this place is really starting to grow up. I mean, we've got a lot of trees and stuff, and we have different plants depending on where we are on the beach and uh, like the furthest away you're going to have a different set of plants but this takes a lot of work up here because you really have to dig down and you got to slope things and uh, you know it's just a lot more work but it's worth it because you know you can see plants that you won't see further down on the beach check this place out hit the wrong button right and then uh, where's oh here comes some water now it's splish splashing does it go over the top? And it didn't. So, yeah, now it's a lot of it's flowing back out. And it will wear down your initial, uh, what would you call that, a berm? Because it will erode the sand. It's not quite as bad as on a real beach, but uh, there is some erosion. Now, see this guy cutting down a tree? That means that these trees, they're cutting them down to build houses. Now, they'll either up, use it to upgrade a house or build a new house. I think most of them use it to upgrade. Uh, I'm raising this up. And because uh, we're leaking, we're leaking water. 
but then as far as so if a wave comes in right here uh, you know I have to it's okay so here's here's a good example a little fluid dynamics here which uh, I am not good at so let's see when this hits this berm here there we go it's gonna come up and now it gets oh it floods all these people out you built too close all right so this is now protected we're not really going up there but these guys aren't so let's see if I can raise these dudes up all right can you already see how you can spend hours doing this all right what am I I am uh, I'm 10 minutes in already uh, I'm making pretty good progress actually but uh, so you guys are up a little higher now but really what I want to do is if the wave comes in here I want to kind of direct it let's let's direct it over oh I gotta protect you idiots too all right so let's let's see what I can do here let's raise you guys up as well um, it's it's up 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 you I buried you <laughs> sorry about that um, and all right well actually it worked better than I thought I actually got some water coming in here and I wasn't paying attention and these guys are sort of protected but yeah so when the wave comes up and hits it's being deflected to either side I would love it to come out through here and around and then I don't know let's uh, let's build something out like this and let's see how much water we can trap for the next wave all right but anyway up in here uh, this is pretty good and then I did build you guys up aha here comes another wave good they're right in the same spot so let's see what happens here all right come straight in it does splash over the top it misses most of the houses it does feed over in there so let me raise these guys up a little bit but that was pretty good there we go probably it's easier to do with another brush but I'm a one brush kind of guy the biggest one terraformer and uh, yeah get up there get up there get up there there we go there you're up on stilts now okay get up 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 all right now so then if we want the water to deflect uh, we could put a low spot through here and then um, again the higher the water goes the better Here's, there's a wave so what do we got uh, we do deflect to both sides we're still going right up the middle though uh, that was an epic failure it didn't do anything with that little pool uh, and your house is underwater again there we go let's can I raise you guys up nope I accidentally pushed you down all right I think you're sleeping in there totally oblivious to what I'm doing all right right you can see what I'm doing just back and forth I like this little uh, lake here look I got some fruits what are these this is a banana it's a banana I think yeah I got a banana plant this looks like a banana plant anyway it's my best guess it's a banana plant and uh, what else we got we got some lakes back in here uh, the rustling of leaves um, but yeah you can see that uh, I'm slowly but surely forming uh, more what would you call it more wildlife more livable areas uh, nobody likes this yet because this water isn't staying here. Um, so we could build a little berm, a mini berm here so that it kind of stays up. And then we can build, I guess we could lower this down to see if we can get another lake to form here. Um, I, don't, I don't know how well I'm going to do, but, but let's just do something like that and then see what happens. Uh, so where are we flooding now? We're flooding over there. It's always where I'm not. Yeah, there we are. We're way over here now. So this, I got a good start on this, so so I need to get over here. Now, flying is too slow in this game. It's going to take me forever to get over here. But um, it'd, it'd be faster to walk, so that's one thing that hopefully gets adjusted. But um, 
Oh, another flood. Oh, nope. The square's coming this way. Now, what can I do to get the water further up the beach? See, I still think this is... The houses are protected. It's below the houses. It comes around. And it goes over and straight in. And really nowhere else. Um, well... Okay. Let me start uh, terraforming this area and basically sinking this, sinking this whole area down in and seeing how far. Yes, uh, some of these, this this palm tree doesn't like to be that close to the water, so it's going to shrink. When the, when the trees don't like something, they don't just up and die. They just shrink back down into the ground, which is the, you know, the graphic for them dying. But let's see how far I can get the water up in here, right? And uh, that's that takes some doing. And uh, but there are oh look it's a little kid, a little kid triangle. But um, really, so that's as far as I can go up. So I want the water to go as far up as I can get it. All right, and uh, then we'll see what we can grow up here. And that's about as far as we can get it. And let's let's smooth this out a little bit. Uh, so things have different places to grow. I like to make like little plateaus. Um, and uh, so things have different places to grow. And we're getting some water in here. And this, there is a smoothing tool, of course. Uh, that would be, this is the big smoother. And uh, this makes the hills look a lot more natural than the, than the terraformer does. And uh, that's about down as far as it can go. So let's go back to terraformer, yeah. Uh, pretty big lake back in here. I don't want to put a lot of water, but I want enough to make a difference. And maybe this will do it. How's that? And I don't, yeah, this is a pretty deep, pretty deep channel. But if we get a good splash of water, now you see the palms are... Broken. Now, I do like that little high part because people need a way to walk through. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The water's coming up and it splashes over a little bit, but holy cow, not very much. All right, so uh, what do I want to do? Okay, one thing I can do with that is I can actually raise some of this up. So when the water comes up here, it's easier to splash over. And I'll lower this little trail down just a little bit. So that it's easier to splash. But now I need another wave. Okay. So anyway, uh, let me build some... Oops. Let me build some kind of plateaus back in here. So that it's not such a steep hill. You know what? Maybe getting getting down on the ground will be easier. So yeah, down in here, yeah, it's a pretty steep hillside. So let me build some shelving type areas. So... It's not so darn steep. Now, it's always going to be steep against the back edge because that's as far back as you can go. But uh, that looks a little better. Not that I can really see what I'm doing, but at least it looks like... Oh, you're cutting down a tree. Timber! Uh, there we go. We got a palm growing. At least it looks like you can, you can traverse this terrain. Um, and then, hey, how's it going? Nice hat, lot, lotta, lottie. Uh, let's do the same over here. All right, and although it looked pretty happy, maybe I'm being too picky as far as the altitude goes, but yeah, let's make sure there's plenty of space for water here. And I think I'm gonna have to kill that. That pine's probably dead because it doesn't like being that close. All right, let me go back up. Well, what have I accomplished? Well, I don't know. Although it looks pretty darn good. That little water hole is good, but I wish I could get some more water in it. Give me a wave. There is a wave. Okay, let's see if I can get some water back in here. Um, I'm going to lower this down temporarily so the water flows through easier. Come on, there it comes. There it comes. And splash. And... There's a big splash, and yes, the water's going up. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. And then for the most part, then, this area is going to be dry so they can walk through it. I'll raise it just a little bit. Yeah, just so you have mostly a dry walkway to walk over. 
All right. Yeah, that's that's a lot of growth there. Look at that. But again, uh, uh, there's a lot more work to do here, which is why you can easily kill hours in this game because there is an awful lot more work to do here uh, as far as... Now, I guess the one thing I haven't shown is I haven't built a, uh, a pool really close here. So what I can do is, since this is splashing back, there is a splash there. I'm going to trap some uh, right out here close to the coast. All right? Really close to the coast here. And I'm going to trap some water right in here. We'll give, we'll give it a little pool, uh, like right around here. All right, just to see what kind of, what, what do we get. And, uh, right, so here's some water here. And we'll raise the terrain up here and there just a bit. Now this is going to, this is going to deflect the water even more, but, uh, you know, I just want to see what grows over here. Um, and again, you, you got to wait just a little bit. But um, let's. That should be plenty of land for trees to grow on there next to those houses there. We have two little uh, pools now, really. Uh, we've got the big one here, and we've got this little one here, and then we've got another one over here, pretty shallow. And uh, we'll see what happens. Right? And then that's one of the original uh, lakes there that I didn't build. And it's, uh, it's holding water pretty well. Yeah, you've got a nice spot there. Okay, here comes a wave. No problem. It fills up the first pool. It gets deflected, but it's really not going into the, to the big pool over here yet. But, um, okay, there's the trees. I mean, they pop up so quick. It's like I look away for a second, and then boom, there they are. And, um, right, we'll get slightly different vegetation because we're very close to the ocean. And so now uh, I need to do that to just about all the areas. Now let me let me fly back. Um, let me fly back over here. And I'm about at 20 minutes now. And okay, good. So we have these trees. These are unique, aren't they? Way back here. Yeah, there's some over here too. I don't know what kind of trees these are. I wish. I could target and figure out what kind of trees these are, but I don't know how to do that. Um, but uh, anyway, we have some unique trees over here, and we, we've got some water, although I don't, I don't know, you know, over time, there is some very slow seepage. So over time, this will very slowly drain. But, uh, yeah, that looks pretty sharp, doesn't it? Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to load the game that I played yesterday so I can show what the upgraded uh, what the upgraded houses look like all right here's my first uh, test map that uh, this is about four hours in and uh, you can see all the way up and down um, how much work I put into this and after about four hours uh, in this area anyway I've got these upgraded houses to build um, so I'm gonna hit F1 now to turn off the user interface and uh, we'll also take a look at some of my score here and this is plus 30 um, which is good because a lot of times it's either zero or negative uh, that's just the way I like to play badly um, and then here's the map and stuff and you can see all the lakes and rivers and stuff that I made and uh, et cetera, et cetera. but um, the point is the, the reason I'm going to this map is so I can show uh, these upgraded houses you can also hear wildlife in here and I've been trying to find it there there's that that this is that noisy duck dude you are really loud okay quack 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 and uh, you didn't run through the tree there's you stopped how about that and there seems to be oh I see how it is all right and uh, there's also penguins I've seen ducks and penguins. That's all the wildlife I've seen so far. That doesn't mean uh, that's the only wildlife there is. Um, and uh, But anyway, uh, that is going to be it. This is a Tidal Tribe, and it releases on July 18th. And this video will be coming out on the 16th, so two days from when this video first goes live. There's just some pink flowers. 
And so we will end it by looking at our two uh, upgraded houses here. And uh, let's see, can I get a better vantage point like up on the hill here? Yeah, there we go. Although that banana plant's getting in the way, but you know, it's a jungle in here, right? All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.